you guys and welcome to my glossy box unboxing. So it has arrived. So pink, um, last month was the black with the white, so pink this month, I don't know why. But anyway, I've um, just been looking on a lot of sites and there's been a few, a little bit of disappointments with this box. Some people loving it, some people not so much. So I'm interested and a little bit worried about what's going to be in here. Right, I know uh, obviously there's been a good few sneaks previews and having a look at the box. So I know what the box looks like. So here it is. Isn't that just a gorgeous box? That is a nice box. I mean, you can never complain about the box really. It's just lovely and such great quality. So, see? So inside, looks like that. And inside we have the information booklet, which I won't look at. Oh, I've seen something. And that's how it looks like inside. So you've got your wrapping paper, your sticky bit, and your little tag, which last week I used, no, last month, I used as a joker, as you do. Um, so here we go. Right, I'm gonna unstick it. Okay guys, what's in there? Anything interesting? Oh, what's that? Oh, right, okay, I'm not gonna, Right, okay. I'm not going to look at the card. We'll just unbox as we go along, okay? So, first thing, I'm just going to dip in. It is a nail varnish. Now, there, you can go there. This is Ciate and it is in the colour Fade to Grage. <laughs> now, obviously, um, I got, if you looked at my pink parcel, I got a Ciate nail polish yesterday from Pink Parcel and there I'm wearing it. Which I love the colour, I love how it went on. That was three coats mine, but that's a, quite a pale colour. So it is harder to pull off. But um, yeah, so that's a nice colour. Um, can I, so it is a suede colour, yeah. That's what it says. And that's it. So it's quite nice. I'm looking forward to trying that. I always love a nail polish. I am one of those people that loves the nail polish which is a bit bonkers but I do. I love it. Okay, on to the next one which I'll just take out and it is the Be Good Honey and Camelina Facial Exfoliator. Polishes, hydrates and calms congested and dull skin. Okay, so there you can see. Um, packed with super gentle yet effective British wildflower honey and right, let's have a smell. Okay. Oh, yeah, lots of little bitty gritty bits, obviously, for an exfoliator. Smells lovely. Yeah, it smells nice. So, um, yeah, I look forward to using that. So that's an exfoliator. Right, now on to Beauty Blends. Right, well, this is my hair shampoo, so it's always good. It's going to match it. Um, and this is a... Strength Restorer Balm. Intense care for damaged hair. Well, my hair is just brand new out of my scalp, <laughs> as you would say, um, because I did brave the shape. So my hair is not really damaged, but um, I've just put colour on it, so who knows what happens straight away as you dye it. So this would be interesting to use. It doesn't say how you use it. What do you do? You just put it on, do you? I'm sure it'll tell you in the box anyway. I won't get too stressed about how I'm going to use it. I'm sure it's quite easy. <laughs> it's a balm. Okay, on to the next one I'm just going to pick out, which is this one. Now, I saw this as a sneak peek, so I knew this was going to be in. And all of January's box in America got this as well. So I saw a lot of unboxings in January and stuff using this product. So this is... Uh, oh. So it's kind of like a regenerating mask and exfoliator too, isn't it? Massage with the fingertips and light circular motion to exfoliate. Rinse with clear water. Oh, that's a shame I got two exfoliators in my box. Oh, I don't know. It's good to have exfoliators, I guess. Right, I'm just going to have a wee smell of this one. Oh, I can't get it out. It won't come out. Look, guys. Oh, 
There it's coming out. That took ages. There's hardly any product in that, see? That's squeezing quite hard too. Little beads. Not as good as the honey one. No smell. Um, this was the volcanic one. So it's a mask scrub. It's kind of like a mask mixed with a scrub. So technically it's not the same as that other one. But it's a scrub and it's got stuff in it. Exfoliating stuff. So it's a shame I got two. It would have been nice to just try this one and then that other product could have been something different. But hey ho. And the last one which was the sneak peek from number two that I knew about. And that was the perfume. And this is a rose colour and this is 30ml. So let's see. We just went for it then. Whew. Wow. <laughs> my nose. Right. Yeah, it's rose. So it's very rose-like. Um, I don't know. A bit old grandma kind of smell. But the more I smell it now, the more I kind of like it. I mean, it, it's quite nice. You have to maybe get used to it, rather. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's not so bad. Right. That's the end of my box. It's all gone. I don't know why. It's a little crazily. Well, I was a little bit underwhelmed, but not crazily, which is what I was trying to say. So, I mean, it was good box. There's a good few things in it, but it wasn't as exciting an opening as, say, my pink parcel was yesterday. And maybe even birch box. But I'll do my birch box first. It's glossy box soon. Okay, so let's go through the little chart and see what we got, our goodies. Okay, so this one is full size. Oops. Sorry. This one is full size, which is crazy because if that's full size, there's not much in there. Well, okay. And it is a youth potion face scrub. £26 for that little beauty. Wow. That's, that's a good price, isn't it? So £26 for that. And it's using mineral rich volcanic paste. This mask cleanses and purifies. Enriched with anti-aging ingredients, also plumps and smooths the skin. Um, while the packaging is a little generous, there's 30ml worth of magical mask for you to enjoy. So, I'll give it a try. Okay, on to Garnier, which was this one. And this one is a honey mask, harnessing the hydrating properties of honey. Um, to leave your hair all nourished and glossy. And, oh, so you squeeze excess water from freshly washed hair and smooth a generous amount over mid lengths and ends, leaving it on for one to five minutes, depending on your needs, before rinsing out. So that's quite easy. And that was £4.49, and you get that from Boots. So that's a good price. Now onto the Ciate, which I know is £9, because I got it in my pink parcel. And um, this one is the Fade to Greige, and you get that from seattlelondon.com. Now onto be good honey facial exfoliator and this one is one of our best rated products last year for good reason inspired by British countryside this natural scrub scrub exfoliates hydrates and calms and this is £10.50 RIP and this is full size also so if you think about it you're getting these and that full size so these three things are full size now that's £10.50, £28 and £9. So the value of the box is good. I mean, that is good. But I could have done with not two facial things. But, I mean, that's still good for you. I paid £10 and I have these three things, which is way over £10. So that's quite good. And um, the perfume, which they didn't list there, did they? What, is it on the back? Oh, it's here. They've put it on this side. Missed a whole product. So that was the perfume. So the perfume is worth £20. And that's full size as well. So right. Go back. So we've got four full size products. So um, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's my £60 worth of full size products. Um, and I think I will use them. I mean, I will. So, I mean, I can't complain too much. I maybe was underwhelmed at first. But now when I look at the, the stuff, I am going to use all these products, so I guess that's a good thing. And the last one, which was, oh well, I looked at that, didn't I? That was £4.49 and that wasn't full size, that was just a sachet. 
So, um, and that's a good thing that you can try. And it matches my shampoo and conditioner, so that's grand. Okay, so that's the end of my glossy box. Um, a little bit underwhelmed at the start, but as I got through the box and having a look at the sizes and the prices, actually, I quite enjoyed it. So, and the box is just so gorgeous. This is a birthday box for my friend, which I have already told her, so she knows it's not gonna be a surprise. I'm gonna fill it with lovely treats. But these boxes are just such good quality and lovely to have. So, I mean, massive difference compared to the other boxes and the other things you get. So I do love that for Glossy Box, big plus. All right, thanks guys for joining me on this unboxing and hope you have a fantastic Thursday. Oh my goodness, the end of the week's almost here and Mr. Grey time tomorrow if you're gonna see 50 Shades of Grey or 50 Shades Darker. Enjoy if you are. Okay, take care, bye.